Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. In this video, I want to go over another Rust with Rust-like features in C++. Now, I'm not a big fanatic, or I should say a big expert in Rust. I mean, the more I read about it, the more I want to get into it. But time is never on my side. Anyways, I just wanted to bring this out more for your attention and to see what you guys think of uh, this GitHub repository. So let me just start off in this Reddit post. Uh, it doesn't look like a whole lot of stuff has been recommended here. Uh, so this is under the CPP subreddit. Um, new project called here, rusty.hpp, the he header. Rust-like traits and a borrow checker and memory ownership system for C++ 20 heavily inspired from Rust. Um, so again, I'm not an expert here. I'm just looking for people's opinion. And let me go over to the repository itself. So this guy, Jay Smitto 101, has this article here or this uh, posting on rusty.hpp. Now I'm going to read the beginning of it. Let me know your thoughts on this in comments, or if you're getting this on the forum, new forum at quantlabsnet.com, right here, quantlabsnet.com slash forum. Okay, if you want to get your free C++ book, let's go over to the quantlabsnet.com slash registration or the learn and get yourself a little free book. Well, not little, but, you know, gives you how... A lot of HFT shops probably run their infrastructure in C++. Anyways, back to the article. So here in this uh, GitHub repository is the description here. At the core, the idea is to implement a minimal, lightweight, very yet powerful and performant system to be able to emulate Rust, Borrow Checker, and General man Memory model as a C++ header-only library. Now, if you read in the book that I've gone through, now again, this is for uh, C17. They said not to uh, build out full functions in one header file. So, what this person's doing might not be recommended. Now, I can't say anything about C20 and beyond if this is recommended. Could be, could be not. I don't know. You tell me. Anyways, quoting from the Rust Lang. Dot org, the borrow check is Rust secret sauce. It is tasked with enforcing a number of properties. All variables and initialized before they're used. You can't move the same value twice. You can't move a value while it's borrowed. You can't access a place while it is mutably uh, borrowed except through the reference. That you can't mutate a place while it's immutably borrowed. Here too, rusty.hpp tries to add these concepts into regular C++ code base with ease. Uh, it also brings additional features which are a very fundamental part of a Rust workflow. Non-nullable value. That can be probably handy for the null pointer references I've checked uh, or I've referred, referred to uh, over the last couple of videos. Then again, here on the generics of option type the results RC ARC. Um, let me just fi finish up here on these three paragraphs here. So this uh, header, Rusty uh, HPP, time or writing time is very exp experimental. I think this is what this guy was trying to stress. It's very experimental. Do not think that this is something you'd put into a production system. Its primary purpose is to experiment, test out different coding styles and exploring a different than usual C++ workspace. This can also be a simple tool for C++ developers to try and get any idea of typical workflow in a Rust dev environment staying in their comfortable zone of C++. That being said, I did my best to get the APIs and behavior to be as close to native Rust as possible, but obviously as one might expect, there are exceptions to this. Now always remember, this guy or this person is putting a lot of development time into this. So as you see in the subreddit on this post, some people actually shred him for it. 
I don't think we're in a position to do that because we're not paying for the service. We should be in gratitude for what people like this do to put the time in to sort of like push the boundaries of something like C++ to make it kind of rusty-like, if you want to call it that. Um, so this is not part of a compiler itself. There's limit to which it can go. I mean, by that is borrow errors, which usually be reported by the Rust compiler at compiled time, will be redirected as exceptions in C++. Though, although there are ways to not go to the uh, exception way and deal with things more gracefully, I would go into the examples. Now, again, I'm not going to go deep in the examples, but I'll let you decide if this is something that you would like to experiment to get the Rusty-like features in C++. Another instance would be that since C++ doesn't inherently have a strict concept of lifetime as Rust, they're not very the same, pieces of dangling references would be redirected or exception to exceptions and checks at runtime in case the main uh, resource gets free. Uh, how, to, uh, how to use this? Um, still an interesting library, which you could easily try out in your own project. To get started, all you need is include the header file and including your project heavily relies on the templates to make it completely generic. That's the exciting part if this matures into something that could be production ready. Also, this could get uh has gotten dependencies apart from C20 standard library. C is needed so that I could use things like standard format concepts, etc. Now, this is where why you don't want to rely on dependencies all within coded up in a header file, just for this purpose, just so you know. Um, after that, you need a C++ uh, 20 compatible compiler, MSVC or GCC 13 plus, and you're ready to go. Again, I'm not going to get into the examples here. But let's see what people have to say about this. So type erasure. Um, again, uh, these aren't rush traits. Rush traits are closer to concept plus concept maps from the original concept proposal. What is closer to Rust of D, Y, and freight, aka extent, extent, existent, exist, I can never say this, existential chills, well, there you go, uh, are type erased references to object that implement a trait. This is maybe improved over a traditional erasure, erasure uh, strategy, but it's not traits. Again, this is from the C++ uh, subreddit and the guy's name is beginning safe so again some other people respond uh to this i'm not going to get and that's why i'm not going deep on this because i'm no expert in this area concepts uh yes and no blah 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 top oh no this doesn't uh do compile time borrow checking does possibly easily unless you add to the language itself it does runtime borrow checking this guy's pretty good at responding. This was only a day ago. But you can use concept card types to have implement a certain interface. Why not use that? Again, same concept. Anyways, I wanted to put that out there. As I said, if you want to learn more about what I do in the world of HFT, high frequency trading, you can start with the HFT ebook. It's out. And now we got a forum. So check that out and be part of that because now you can be part of the conversation to ask your tech questions, trading questions, and the like. Other than that, thanks for watching.